My connection to Missouri City is that I live nearby the area. I decided to go to HCC's EMS program because it's affordable uh, cost of tuition as well as it offers many um, opportunities for financial aid to help me along in the process because you know I am a full-time dad and I also have another job on top of this just trying to make ends meet as I pursue this new career path and with the scheduling of classes each week and the helpful insight of studying techniques and uh, scheduling time from our instructors and the program director, they've, they've helped me be able to accomplish that. I found my instructors to be uh, quite strict actually. Um, it was a little intimidating at first, however, having said that, they're very encouraging and they're very uh, fair when it comes to their evaluations. It's all meant to help me grow and become the professional that I'm supposed to be. I'm very grateful for every teaching point I've ever had. I'm currently a volunteer firefighter. I want to go full-time with it rather than being part-time, and I'm getting this EMT certification so I have the ability to do that with the state of Texas. Initially, it was just a means to an end. I honestly dreaded thinking about having to go into the medical route, but about a month into the program here, um, I really fed off of the passion for my instructor, and I realized that this is exactly what it is I'm supposed to do in life. Not only am I just getting my basic, but I've decided to move on to the paramedic program. Once I graduate from this, I'm gonna pursue a career in EMS and making a direct impact on people's lives. Personal story that I have has to do with a question that my family and friends asked me about you know, how can I handle the graphic nature of people's injuries or something like that? And I'm thankful because the EMS program at HCC uh, trains you specifically uh, to handle those situations. I mean, I'm a compassionate human being myself. I got thoughts and feelings about life and people, right? But there was one instance where uh, there was a bad car crash. There was an 11-year-old girl in the back seat who was pretty messed up. And um, I don't know how else to describe it other than uh, just kind of my training takes over and I'm just focused on what can I do to help this individual stay alive and get to the hospital. And so the goriness or, or uh, you know, things of that nature don't really affect you that much when you treat it more of like a mission. And uh, that's a direct reflection of the uh, quality of the program here at HCC Missouri City Campus.